Taking an online class can already be stressful due to the need to manage it completely on your own without regularly meeting face-to-face -face with your instructor or peers. Facing multiple online classes during a pandemic where face-to-face -face instruction is not possible can really add on extra pressure that may make it feel too overwhelming to navigate. Here are some tips to take control of your learning and keep up with your classes. The syllabus is your best friend. Skim over all of your syllabi to get an idea of what your classes will entail. Take out a pen and paper. Read over the syllabus for each class again, but this time, take notes. Take notes on what's due when, what assignments need to be completed for the week, when you have to post on the discussion board, etc. Create a detailed schedule. Go through the syllabus and write down when every deadline is in a planner, online calendar, or another time management resource. Set time aside for each class in your schedule. Set aside time for both lectures and deadlines. You will be able to better estimate how long each deadline will take as the semester progresses. If you are unsure, you can set aside the maximum amount of time you think it will take you and go from there. For more in-depth information on time management, please go to guts.wisc.edu and watch the SS Weekly Calendar video under the Resources tab. Working with online material. Print out any materials you can. Research shows that student retention is higher when they use printed materials because they are more easily able to personalize their engagement. Be as active as possible with this material by adding notes to the margins, underlining important topics, making definitions into flashcards, rewording important concepts, etc. Take breaks when working on the course. Our brains retain the very beginning and the very end of what you studied the most clearly. By taking breaks, you are creating more beginning and end times that you would otherwise miss out on. One method for taking breaks that we typically recommend is called the Pomodoro Technique. This involves setting a timer for 25 minutes of work time. After the timer is up, you can take a five minute break and repeat. Once you've done four timers, you should take a longer break of 20 minutes. Attend office hours with your TA or your professor. Many professors use different online platforms for their office hours. Check the syllabus or directly email your professor in order to find out what platform they plan on using. Common platforms include BB Collaborate, Zoom, and Microsoft Teams. Tips for before office hours. Ask yourself, why do I want to meet with my professor or TA? What questions do I have? What materials do I need to bring or reference? If you cannot think of specific questions, try thinking of ways to improve or things you want to learn more about. Let your professor or TA know that you care about the course and want to utilize their time efficiently. Tips for during office hours. Ask yourself, what suggestions, strategies, or supplemental information has my professor or TA shared with me? What have I been doing well? Where can I improve and how? Make sure to jot down a few notes on what you have discussed with your professor or TA so that you do not forget later. How to stay motivated with online classes. One, get positive. When do we procrastinate the most? When we are in a bad mood. Happiness increases productivity. How to find optimism. Monitor the progress you're making and celebrate it. Do things you actually like doing when you have free time. Try to stay away from social media and choose more active tasks. If you are isolated during this time, message friends or family and share weekly or daily accomplishments. Two, get rewarded. 
Rewards feel good and penalties feel bad. That's why they both can work well for motivating you. Rewards are responsible for three-fourths of why you do things. How to reward. Treat yourself to something small every time you complete something on your to-do list. Try to get some fresh air as safely as possible. Go in your front slash backyard, balcony, or around the block. Three, get peer assistance. Video chat with people who have good study habits. If you are unable to contact someone, there are YouTube videos where people can study with someone pre-recorded on a timer. The person in the video takes breaks with you and such. So this is a good idea if you are looking for another outlet. A little bit of positive peer pressure can also be a good tool to use. How to try this. Use an online platform such as BB Collaborate, Google Hangouts, Zoom, etc. Make a weekly slash daily time to meet with your buddy. List your goals. Do this at the beginning of your meeting. Four, mix it up. Incorporate new and interactive activities into your routine. Stimulating your interest in new activities can rejuvenate your motivation. How to try this. Explore your personal interests, especially ones you may have not had time for in the past, such as creating a painting, redecorating your room, or using your studies in an active form. If you are interested in learning more about any of these tips, consider making an appointment with one of our programs, such as the Study and Learning Skills or the Study Skills programs. Thank you.